let's take a closer look at the little talked about but commonly used forms of backpacking gear storage. Let's shed some light on this subject, shall we? We all have gear, lots of gear. A lot of you, probably like me, have kind of way too much gear. I have gear all over the place. I live in a one bedroom apartment. I'm a single dude. <laughs> Obviously I have some in the backdrop behind me, but I got closets here, storage units over here, just full of stuff. Let's just, let's just dive in and just see how I keep my, my stuff. Back here on the shelves, yes, a lot of it is props and it's for visual, but I actually use some of this kind of stuff. Here is a Waymark backpack, Waymark backpack. I have hammocks over there. I have cots over there, uh, sleeping pads, hats. And then up here is just some stuff you don't normally see on camera, sleeping pads, a bin full of stuff for winter camping, blankets, some kettles, and just some artwork. So some of my stuff is stored here. And then here's like a behind the scenes look at the studio. I'm in my dining room one bedroom apartment living, right? Bicycle. All right, let us continue, shall we? We need lights, lots of lights. Nepal artwork. Can you see any of this? Storage bins over here. Storage bins full of stuff. Do I have them labeled? Not really, but I have everything, you know, separated in terms of things that make sense to me. Miscellaneous garbage. More miscellaneous garbage. Hats, gloves, uh, stocking caps, buffs. Water bottles. Miscellaneous stuff. Some miscellaneous stuff. Pillows, extra hammocks, uh, my sleeping pad. Uh, just things I don't use that much. Down here, hammocks, spreader bars, straps. Down here, all the extra carabiners and attachment thingies and accoutrement. Let's keep it moving. Down below, cookware, stoves, fuel, all that kind of stuff. Personal hygiene items, ditty bag, poop kits, water filtration, platypus, catadine, all that fun stuff. Keep going up, electronics, lighting, maps, lots of maps. Up here, food, ramen, snacks, dehydrated backpacking meals, more dehydrated backpacking meals, food bags, dehydrated backpacking meals, and then if we continue up a little bit, more dehydrated backpacking meals. You're literally getting a glimpse into my apartment. And I'm a, I'm a guy, so there's nothing fancy here because I just, I, I don't care. I don't care that much. Quilts, what's going on? Quilts, 40 degree top quilts, sleeping bags, quilts, quilts, under quilts, top quilts. I keep them in these storage sacks so they're uncompressed. It doesn't affect the down. I mean, could I hang them up somewhere? Sure. Some backpacks along the wall. Pull up bar. 100, 200, 300, 400. Screaming baby in that apartment. Storage unit, number uno. I don't know if you can even see in here. <laughs> or uh, these are actually tents. I keep those loose packed as well. More tents and supplies, bags, snowshoes, paper towels. Storage unit number two. Actually, there's no backpacking stuff in there. Does that mean I need more stuff? That's a, that's a lot of gear. I'm curious though, I wonder how much money I've actually spent on gear uh, over the- Don't do it. Don't do it. What, why? Are you seriously gonna try to think of how much money you spent over however many years on backpacking stuff? You're gonna do that. 
What you, what are you working on anyways? <laughs> All right. Do you do anything special to store your gear? Do you have any tips and tricks for others how to store their gear? This is just what I was able to cram into a small one bedroom apartment and it works. And it looks like I have room for more. Thank you.